Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today marks the official launch of the Ghanaian Canadian Heritage and Resource Centre uh, fundraiser. The goal of this project um, is will begin. Uh, is beginning today, June the 18th, and it will run from June 18 to December 31st, 2022. The goal for this campaign is to raise an amount of 300,000 by December 31st, 2022, towards this project. The fundraising campaign has the following things outlined. We are requesting every Ghanaian, or we are appealing to every Ghanaian to donate a minimum of $100 towards the fundraiser campaign. And this is a tax deductible amount. Every association will donate an amount or a minimum amount of $500 towards the campaign. Our churches are being structured by T-shirt sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. And based on the size of the churches, they will also be contributing to this campaign. Uh, Ghanaian businesses are also being structured to be able to uh, contribute to this campaign. I want to reiterate that the Ghanaian Canadian Heritage and Resource Center has an affordable housing component to this project. And that is why we are appealing to everyone to contribute to this campaign to have a successful uh, Ghanaian Canadian uh, Resource Center. It's the ambition of the project itself that's worthy of the campaign and it's worthy of the support. Uh, and as a City of Toronto Councillor, I'm here in support of that. You know, building a, a centre where the Ghanaian community can come, can retain its ties as a community, can expand on its culture uh, while far from, you know, from home, as it were, in another country. I can tell you as, a, as an Italian, as an Italian-Canadian, uh, who came to this country uh, so many, many years ago. What has a tendency to happen here is that you become immersed in, in a culture uh, and in a cultural milieu where it becomes very, very difficult to preserve those things that make you distinct and that uh, make you distinct as, as a people, as a culture, uh, your values, uh, and to some degree your heritage as well. So a center of this nature is so very important. And anyone um, out there who's even remotely considering uh, uh, supporting the campaign, please do, because that's what it's about. Uh, you know, feel yourself as a Ghanaian, as a Ghanaian Canadian, but as somebody who wants to, um, you know, retain those ties with your own uh, sense of identity, your own sense of community. So it's in that spirit that I'm here in support of this endeavor and this initiative today. I'm so proud to be here uh, on this prestigious project launch for the Ghanaian community. Um, the Ghanaian community are leaders here within the GTA. They're a strong, vibrant community, and they're working hard to keep their beautiful and wonderful heritage alive so that their children, their grandchildren, and their great-grandchildren remember where they come from. Because with the, other than the Indigenous and First Nations community who have been here for thousands of years, we all come from somewhere. And so I welcome that, and I'm so proud to be here as well in support. And not just what you will be doing for the Ghanaian community, you have been leaders throughout for this Humber River Black Creek community, Toronto and all the GTA. So many different charitable acts that you've done to help our community. So I'm so proud to be here. This is a wonderful, wonderful and worthy project and I wish you all the best. I've seen uh, for years the work that has gone to get us to this point. So I want to congratulate the Canadian, Canadian Association of Ontario for the work that they've done uh, to develop this dream, this dream that the Ghanaian community needs a home, that the Ghanaian community needs a, a place to congregate, uh, to keep it, the, the culture, uh, to keep uh, the community alive and together. Um, and I know that the work that they've put in, it will reap a reward. Uh, because I've seen uh, how adamant the leadership has been in developing the pathway that will get us there. And had uh, they not been working together, had they not been already collectively working as a community, we wouldn't be here today. And so I want to congratulate them for the work that they do. 
Uh, I want to continue to vouch my support for that work. I, I along with Council Peruza and uh, Tamar Kostovic, the MPP, will continue to work uh, to support this dream uh, until one day, I hope, I, not very far from now, I, I get to be at a, a ribbon cutting ceremony where we all get to uh, uh, celebrate that moment and, and generations to come will basically benefit from that. And I want to thank everybody who has been participating in this project and will continue to work on this project. It's really important to us. And from what I've heard so far, two key things we are looking at, it will be the one-stop shop for Ghanaians to look for information about our community and outside our community. That's why we need our help. For us to be able to support government activities, for us to be in, the, in a position where if you're asking, oh, where do I go to to get information about anything about the Ghanaian community, you can easily be pointed to one area. So this is why we need your support. It will be also a center for us to help ourselves for advocacy. How do we come together as a community to be able to advocate? And then they will know that in unity and in our strength of numbers, we can achieve whatever we want for our community. To continue to do that, we need to showcase our beautiful culture to our kids. We need to make them feel proud of where we come from. And in order to do that, we need everybody as Ghanaian to contribute. Right, and African, so Ghan not just Ghanaians, but friends of Ghanaians. Anybody in the African uh, community can contribute because once we, I call it the domino effect, once we get our center, then we can also be the lead to help other people. Just like the Somalians have done it, we're doing it so it can continue. So we can showcase our beautiful culture as Africans. Uh, I've been in Canada since the 70s. Mm -hmm. And this is a very historic time because I've seen three generations and we had nothing to offer them. But now is the time. The Heritage Center is here now and we are going to make sure that is built so that the generations that came after us will benefit. Um, we are having so many programs, a self-help program that we have. We have the crisis intervention um, program that where we help women facing abuse, um, gender abuse, violence, domestic violence, bullying and harassment. We need a place where our women will run to with their children or with their family. If you are a Ghanaian, um, Canadian, meaning you are Canadian with Ghanaian descent, please we are appealing to you to be part of this project so we can make it happen. You know, this is history in the making. We're making it not for us, but for generations to come. I just want to talk to you about the amazing programs that are being planned for the young people. So we have amazing STEM programs, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, where we will teach children STEM activities. They'll learn leadership skills. They'll learn, um, they'll be mentored by mentors in the community. We have a lot of great things planned for the young people. So we just want to tell you just to get involved, contribute because our children matter and you know, they're our future. So please come on board and uh, join in this outreach. Ghanaian Canadian Association of Ontario has a very big vision for children. And as an educationist, I love it. So now that we have a place that we can train not only even Ghanaian children, but other children in the neighborhood, we want people to support us. Please, what is money? Give it out. And in future, you see somebody like a child who has grown to become the prime minister of Canada, and you will be proud of that person. Why not donate? Let's give for a good cause. And I want everyone to donate towards the Heritage Center project so we can have our own community center. The Ghanaian Resource Center is not only for Ghanaians. We're calling out the entire community, friends of Ghana, everybody to come out and celebrate with us. There's many fundraising initiatives being activated. And one of the main ones that we have coming up is on August the 6th, we have about four different artists coming from Ghana. Mr. Drew, Sefa, we have B Black, and we also have one of the amazing High Life artist Kwame Eugene uh, coming down all the way from Ghana to come and support this initiative. By December, uh, I'm giving you $1,000. This is $500. Wow! Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Banks, businesses, we need you all donate for this historic moment so that we can have the Heritage Center 
for our generations and generations to come.